What is causing the divide between the critics and the audience with the Super Mario Bros. movie? I analyzed 1,300 positive reviews from the audience and 80 negative critic reviews from Rotten Tomatoes to find out why. It's becoming quite common nowadays for critics and the audience to not always see eye to eye. For the Mario Bros. movie, some critics did not like the voice acting, others didn't like the story, and some of them didn't even like the animation. The one thing, though, that they almost all had in common was that they didn't like the abundance of easter eggs and nostalgia. Of the 80-ish negative reviews, only 7 didn't mention the video game references. The other 70 reviews all talked about how there was way too much focus on referencing the video game. In the words of one critic, there's fan service, and then there's pandering. Fair enough. This is not Gone with the Wind or Return of the King. So if you want something like that, then yes, you will hate this movie. This plot is plain, the pacing is quick, and the characters are simple. So why did the audience love it? Of the 1300 plus reviews I scraped and analyzed, the most useful common word used by the audience was fun. It was mentioned over 307 times. So this lies the difference between the critics and the audience. The audience walked in expecting to have fun, and they did. They didn't walk in asking for a Greek tragedy. They expected to see many elements from a classic video game brought to the big screen, with some humor and action, and they got it. So the lesson of this movie is know your audience and what they are expecting. Nintendo knew that the audience wanted a fun time, and they nailed it in that aspect right on the head. So unlike other studios, Universal has chalked up yet another successful movie, and this is because they know their audience. Wahoo!